We've already seen multiple examples of doing something like dividing 176 by 8, and we're going to do it again. But this time we're going to use, we're going to try to visually understand why what we're doing actually works. So we've seen you take an 8 and you divide it into 176. 176, actually for practice, it doesn't hurt if you want to pause the video and try to work through it on your own. So the way that we've thought about it in the past is we said, okay, well, how many times does 8 go into 1? Well, it doesn't go into 1, so let's go, let's look at the next two, the next digit. So how many times does 8 go into 17? Well, it goes into 17 two times. 2 times 8 is 16, and then we subtract, and we get 17 minus 16 is 1, and then we bring down the 6, the 6 that's in the 1's place. And we say, how many times does 8 go into 16? Well, it goes 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16, and then we subtract and we're done. And so how does, why, why did this make sense? Maybe you get this process that I did, this long division process, but why does it actually make sense? And so to think about that, let me, let me draw a rectangle. We just have to remind ourselves that the area of a rectangle, so if I have a rectangle like this, and if it's, it's let's say its height is 5, and let's say its width is 20, then the area of this rectangle is going to be 5 times 20, which is equal to 100 square units. So let's think about this as an area problem. So if I had, if I had, so one way to think about it is, I, if my dimensions are 8 and something else, then of my rectangle, that my area needs to be 176. Or another way of thinking about it, let me draw it like this. So maybe it looks something like, let me draw it like, this, I'm not going to be able to draw it perfectly to scale. So this problem is essentially saying, okay, if I have something with an area of 176, and I know one of the dimensions, I know one of the dimensions is 8, so I know this dimension right over here is 8, this boils down to, well, how can I figure out what the length is, what this, this, what this dimension up here is going to be? So what is that dimension up here going to be. And if we did that, then we know what eight, 176 divided by 8 is, because 8 times this thing is going to be 176. So let's, let's draw the parallels between what we did here and how we can think about this thing right over here. So we said, okay, 8 doesn't go into 1. 8 goes into 17. And I said 8 goes into 17 two times. But you have to pay attention to the place value here. Did I really say 8 goes into 17 two times? And that is the way I thought about it. But what's really going on here? This 1 is in the hundreds place. The 7 is in the tens place. This is 170. So I really said that 8 goes into 170, not two times. Notice, I put this 2 in the tens place. I'm saying 8 goes into 170 20 times. So one way to think about it is, let me, let me erase this. So we know that area has a total of 176, an area of 176. One way to think about it is, I split this into 170 and 6. So maybe it looks something like this. So yeah, I'll draw it like. So one way to think about it, this section right here has an area of 170. And then this area right over here would be 6. Let me do that in that other color. It would be 6. Fair enough, right? The total area is still 176. It's still 176. So over here, when I looked at the 17, which is only really 170, I said, well, how many times does 8 go into 170? I said it goes 20 times. This 2 in the tens place is 20. So it goes 20 times. Let me do this orange color. So I could say, OK, this length right over here maybe is, this length right over here is 20. So it goes. 20 times. Now what's 20 times 8? Well, 20 times 8 would be this rectangle. That would be this rectangle right over here, which, of course, 20 times 8 has, that would be give us an area of 160. 160. So let me, whoops, let me erase this. So this right over here, and I should probably erase it with a thicker thing. This right over here is going to be equal to 160. That's what this 16 right over here is. Notice this is in the hundreds place, this is in the tens place. This is 160. This is 160. 160 
Now, if you subtract that from 170, what do you have left over? You have this 10. You would have this 10 left over, and that's what this is right over here. That's this 10. Notice, we haven't changed the whole value. We still, have, we still add up to 176. 160 plus 10 plus 6, 176. Now, we see that the 8 times 20 gets us the 160, so now we have to figure out what the remainder, or what, what we're, how to divide 8 into what's left over. Well, what's left over? Well, we have this 10 and 6. We have this 10 and 6 right over here. Well, what is the 10 and 6? One way to think about it, we got the 10, then we brought down the 6. That's the equivalent of adding 10 plus 6. Equivalent of adding 10 plus 6, which is equal to, which is equal to 16. This thing right over here has an area of 16. Well, 8 goes into 16 how many times? Well, 8 goes into 16 two times. And two times, and it goes exactly, two times eight? Well, it's going to be exactly 16. So what's the dimension up here? Well, it's going to be 20, 20 plus two. 20 plus two, or 22. And we're done. So I know what you're thinking. Hey, Sal, that was really involved. I wouldn't do that on a day-to-day -day basis if I'm trying to compute things really fast, and et cetera, et cetera. And that is true. You would probably do something like this, or maybe even do it in your head. But it's really neat to realize that, look, there isn't, this isn't just some you know, random voodoo process that someone made you memorize one day. It makes logical sense.